What it do, y'all? All right, so truth be told, I wasn't even going to record this video, but uh, I want to show you guys how to create radi radio edited versions. Sorry, I can hear myself lagging. Radio edited versions of your songs that have explicit language. Man, that sounds so slow. All right, so it's using something called, a plugin called Yums. And if you guys haven't heard of them, man, I'm going to show y'all. Come get it. Come. So I'm saying bad little bit. Come get it, but I'm saying B I T C H. And I'm gonna mute this. Little bitch, come get it. Bounce, bounce. Bad little bitch, come get it. Oh, I got this on. If I do it with this track, then you're gonna hear everything. So I'm gonna add another track because I'm talking on the track. Alright, there we go. So you're not gonna hear the B I T. Here we go. Bounce. Bad little bitch, come get it. Hear that? Bad little bitch, come get it. I just wanna see if she with it. So that noise. I mean, that bad little bitch, come get it. That tape stop is what it's called. It's a lo-fi tape stop from Yums. And I'm in Studio One. I'm going to show you how to automate it. Pretty much, like, if you know how to use automation in any of your DAWs, I prefer Studio One, but I ain't some nigga. All right there. So this is where I'm on right now. I ain't some nigga. So it's kind of a trick to it. It's automation. And I had to figure it out. It's a new plugin. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm on the actual track. Boom, there it is. So grab this tape stop. And the way it works, for me, I go to this Shaw Automation so I can see this. And I put, normally it's on auto off, but I put it on latch. The reason why I put it on latch is because I can, if I, if I put it on right, then it'll write it every time I press play. And, like, it'll mess up what I do if I don't, like, save it and get out of it and put it back on read. So it can read what I wrote. But if I do it on latch, then on latch, I'm able to like keep doing it how I want. But it could also stay. Like imagine if right could stay the way it was when I replay it. Unless I touch it again. And that's what we want to do. So on nigga, I'm going to press. So right now it's on play. And I set it up like this with the setting. I use dusty stopper preset, but I also adjusted it. So don't go based off that preset. Just kind of pay attention to and I'll show you, I, I try to make more videos about like showing you the time and everything, but there's a finesse to it for sure. Uh, see, they just don't get it. I ain't some nigga. All right, I'm gonna hit the stop on nigga. I ain't some. Now, when I hit the stop, I stopped the thing too. I also hit space bar. Get it. I ain't some. Now you hear how you don't hear nothing after that. That's good, but normally you're gonna wanna hear yourself after that, but let's hear it with this. Get it. I ain't some. You can't really hear too much. Let me turn the beat down. Got that beat cranked. I ain't some. And I'm probably gonna scoot it over so I can get more of that in. So you know I'm about to say the N word. I ain't some. Now, I can. Now, what I'm supposed to do, because watch what happens. If I don't press play again and I got it on latch, I ain't some. It won't pick this up. You see what I'm saying? It's not picking up nothing. I'm sorry for saying you see what I'm saying. I know you guys get what I'm saying. My mom told me to stop saying that stupid shit. <laughs> she's, like, <laughs> she's like, everybody see what you're saying. So I'm saying this shit. Makes you sound retarded. I'm like, damn, mom. All right, shit. So I'm supposed to hit play right after that if I want to get the word in. Get it. I ain't some. Okay. Yeah. So I just pressed it. I pressed it twice. I didn't have to. But you can see inputs. I'm going to highlight that and delete that because I didn't have to do that, even though it doesn't make a difference. I just want to prove a point is that I'm going to exit out of here. When I zoom in, let me get out of my mix tool. And I'm going to make this bigger. Uh, go to normal, large, and let me zoom in. So this is the uh, when it gets back up to when you hear the uh and the nigga. So some but it also keeps, it lets, by me pressing play again, it let, it brings it back to the rest of my work. Okay, yeah. Bad little, come get it. Now I hear another one. Bad little bit. So I, first, what I was trying to do was do it separately. I just figured this out. So first, what I tried to do was do it separately. But now I can leave it on there. And I say it again right here. I'm going to do what? Like, I just figured this out, and I wanted to just freaking do it for you guys. So I keep it on latch. Let's go back to the show automation, and we're going to hit stop on... Bad little bitch. 
Oops, I'm late. Control Z or Command Z. Yeah, look. Then we gotta get come get it. So I'm gonna hit play on after I. Yeah, look, come get it. Let's see if it worked. Yeah, look, come get it. Now I'm gonna scoot this over a little bit more. Ah. Yeah, look, come get it. Uh, let's Control Z. Hold on, let me hear how the B sound. Yeah, look. I don't like the way that sounded. That was that was the problem. It was the way. Yeah, little bitch come. So right there, yeah. Yeah, little bitch. Right there, that's what I want. So you see, you got to get that sweet spot. Yeah, little bitch. Right on that. Let me zoom in. It's important, right on that word. And I could also just do it manually. For those of you guys who were wondering, like, why am I doing it like that? So I'm, I'm doing this for the people who want to learn automation just quickly. That's why it's called automation, not manual Asian. <laughs> Now I need to put the, come get it right here. So this is what I meant by manual. I could press this right here. Get it. And scoot this over if I messed up. And it'll be right there. And really this don't need to be on there long. Once I press it, it's on. Hello. Ooh, maybe, maybe not. That's why I do it. That's why I don't do it the people's way that, okay, here we go. Hello, come get it. Right there. Let's see. Hello, come get it. Let's see if I scoot this over a little bit. Give me something. Hello. Nothing. All right. You know why? I know why. Because if I do it, I believe that's the stop. I believe it's supposed to be this one. But that's when you click it to check it out. See, when you're working with me, man, we're, we're figuring things out together. Because we're all... Hello. Just... What about to do right here? Here we go. Hello. I'm getting... I got to be quicker. Quicker. Hello, come get it. There we go. I'm in there. Watch. Hello, come get it. Yeah, little bitch, come get it. Let's do it again. I'm, I was quicker before I was showing y'all. No cap. Yeah, little bitch. Here we go. Yeah, little bitch, come get it. Uh huh. Yeah, little bitch. Let me do it again. I mean, but you see my point. I mean, how long you want me to go on and on and on and on and on? I'll show you. Get it. Let's go back to the top. Come get it. Bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bad little bitch, come get it. Bad little bitch, come get it. I just wanna see if she with it. Oh yeah, right here, I did it. Same thing, if you're wondering. Uh, I just put come get it down here. Because this is when I didn't know. Right here is when I figured it out, so I'll show you. Bounce, bad little bitch, come get it. Bad little bitch, come get it. And that's another thing you guys can do if you guys are wondering. Like, you could just drag the come get it part down. But I'm showing you could do it on the tape stop without having to put it on separate tracks. I just wanna see if she with it. Yeah. I just wanna see if she with it. Zell. Bounce. 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 Little dog pull it up. Right there. She think I'm in love. Slow down. Okay. Slow down. Okay. Slow down. I don't like how quiet this is. I'm gonna put the master setting on. See, they just don't get it. I ain't some. Okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Bad yeah, little bitch, come get it. Bad yeah, little bitch. My mom says, stop, stop saying that shit. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Bad little bitch, come get it. Bad little bitch, come get it. Bad little bitch, come. So, you get my drift. Check, 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 check. Okay, so you catch my drift. So, that's how you do it, man. You guys need to get that. I got a link in the description for you guys to get that tape stop. And I'll make more videos. I'll show you guys. It's a finesse, for sure. And you guys can get a discount using my code. And no, I did not make this, bro. I did not make this with the intent of a sponsor. Like, I didn't. I just wanted to give you guys something that's finesse. And by the way, um, I am, that sound that you hear on there, on my voice, is by Yums. It's called Spread. And I found these guys on Instagram. Like, I like what they were doing. They don't have a lot of followers. They just making great plugins. So, like, yeah, tap in. They give you an owner's manual when you click all this. Man, I didn't even know. So, really... If I go to my tape stop, like, and this is real time. If I click this, I probably got a owner's manual. Yep, there's a manual. Show you what's in there. How to install it. You get your license activation key. Yeah, you can use it offline and online. Presets, it show you where your presets are. Like, they're giving you the whole rundown. 
the overview. And this is what I was saying. It's like this button triggers the startup of the virtual tape machine. It will create a classic pitch up effect and start the playback. So you can do it in so many different ways. I'm just I'm just getting started with it. I know what a tape stop is. If you're watching this, you probably know exactly what a tape stop is. I just, I wasn't going to make this video, for real. No cap. This is this is helpful for somebody, because it's helpful for me, because I like this song. I really don't even make this kind of music. You guys know I'm not capping when I say that, so yeah, fuck with it. Um, I got a link in the description if you want to use it. Just go through, go through me so you can get a discount. You feel me? We both eat, and it's like that. But other than that, thank you for watching this video. Um, subscribe. Even if you're not subscribed, just subscribe and uh, help me get those numbers to where they should be on the subscribers. And yeah, if you have any more questions about this, leave it in the comments. I'll take a look at them and see, like, maybe, you know, if I left something out, if I'm, I need to figure something else out. Of course, I need to figure out something else. I need to figure out more. But I'm just, like, looking at all these different things. I know what all this means, but using it with automation is what it is. And you guys probably don't know what it means, so I'll, I'll break it down. And they got all these different presets. But I'll break it down because I'm figuring it out myself. But it don't look like a whole lot to figure it out. Once you get the automation part, just make sure you hit stop on the time. Make sure you know what you're doing with your timing. Sometimes if you, like I made this beat, so if you made the beat, most likely it's going to be the tempo that you set there. If you didn't, and you didn't synchronize the beat to detect it on the tempo on your DAW, you're probably going to use this on the time mode to make sure that your stop ends right where it's supposed to be when you do it. And your start goes right here. I always do my start at the beginning. That's what I figured out because you you need it at the beginning. You, you don't want to start it later. But if you're doing a different style of music, a different style of tape, you know, they should call it tape start. But... <laughs> Nevertheless, thank you guys for uh, watching. I'm gone. Peace.